welcome back to the hummingbird healing toolbox this morning i actually have an activity for you so growing up i was a kid who always used my imagination i was always uh reading and creating coloring um, imagining dreaming having different visions and things like that for my life and so uh as i grow up grew up those are some of the things that i continued so I have this activity that has helped me along the way. So I read this book a while ago called um, Outwitting the Devil. Outwitting the Devil. I can't remember the author at this point, but I'll get that information to you. But it's called Outwitting the Devil. And in this book, it discussed uh, how this author would use... Uh, imaginary tools to help him to become successful and one of the tools in the book I book I actually adopted on my own for myself and it has been amazing it has really helped me over the years to because I read this book years ago uh, but it's helped me over the years to um, just make some things come alive in my life so it's called round table of counselors and basically what you're doing is you are imagining if you were at a round table with counselors people that you would choose, people that you would find influential in your life, how would you, who would be at your table? Who would who would be at your table, whether they're alive or dead? Now, the thing about this is the people that you sit at your table are people that you have to study because you have to kind of know the kind of advice that they will give you based on the questions that you're asking or the advice that you need. So I'm going to show you uh, my round table of counselors. Um and it'll just show you how you can actually create this recreate this activity for yourself okay okay guys here is my round table of counselors uh as you as you know i'm always using my glass board in my office so here um are the specific people that i chose that i uh value very much many of them are dead unfortunately um but at the same time um, I really value the information that I think that I would get from these specific people. And trust me, there are much more people, much more people who are alive um, that I would have in my round table. But these are the major people that I would have. And I think depending on the situation, I will put different people at my table. So as you can see at the top of my round table, I'm always going to put Jesus. Um, that's my foundation. So no matter what, Jesus is going to always be at the head of my table and then you see me next to Jesus Kim Trees and then Madam CJ Walker who was an amazing entrepreneur which is some um, I am an entrepreneur and I just hope that I could uh, cover some of the ground that she covered and hopefully more um, Mandela Nelson Mandela uh, uh, just the epitome of peace the epitome of forgiveness and freedom gotta have him at my table Victor Frankel his book the the man's search for meaning oh my goodness if you haven't read it you need to read that book it's so amazing it um just gives you a different diff different um perspective on life sojourner truth you know all of the work that she's done for women rights and things like that I had to have her at my table malcolm x by any means necessary and i think that that statement can go um not just for freedom but for forgiveness but for healing um, for success, for striving, for prog for progress, Bayard Ru Bayard Rustin, who was one of Martin Luther King's uh, right hand men uh, for a while, and he's the one who actually put together the March on Washington. Many people think that that was a Martin Luther King thing. Martin Luther King, you know, did an amazing speech, uh, which is um, I Have a Dream. But Bayard Rustin was a major player in putting that uh, March on Washington together. Of course, the amazing Michelle Obama. I feel like, you know, she would be able to give me that stern eye and that stern um, perspective and understanding. Uh, so these are some of the people who I would have at my table. And like I said, depending on uh, what I am seeking, then I probably would change some people. Like in some places, I may put Martin Luther King at my table. Uh, I love Judge Lynn Toler. I probably would put her at my table. Um, there are um, Cheryl Stanberg. Um, there are so many different people that I will put at my table. 
um, based on who they are, what they've done, what they believe in, the vision for their lives. Miles Monroe, I would definitely have him at my table. I should have had him up on this one, but I would definitely have him uh, at my table. Uh, Bozema St. John, who is the marketing VP for Uber. She is awesome. Love her. I would have her at my table. So there's so many people that I would have at my table, but this, I just wanted to put this up there so you can get the idea of what um, it looks like, you know, what, what the round table looks like. So I would encourage you to create your own round table. And so when you have these questions, just kind of close your eyes and think of yourself at the round table and ask your question and then just go around the table and and because you know these people because you study these people you kind of know the information that they will give you and it's really been helpful it sounds kind of weird but i'm telling you it has really helped me with a lot of decision making in my life all right so here it is round table of counselors i hope it's helped you out uh this is the hummingbird uh healing toolbox uh and i will see you all in the next video and i'm just gonna go up a little bit so you can see it because I know there's a glare but here it is I hope you use it I I hope that it is effective for you as it has been effective for me all right you all have a wonderful day remember transformation is an inside job have a blessed wonderful beautiful amazing progressive Friday